Hello, I'm going to be working in my little tag book. In fact, I'm going to finish it. It's the last page here. And then when I finish this, I'm going to do a flip through so you can see the rest of the book. Not all of the pages I have shown on camera. So some will be new. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of paint. The tag is already ges gessoed and I'm just going to get some acrylic paint out. I'm going to start off with a nice neutral buff titanium. I'm just going to put that on loosely and then I'm going to mix up a lovely purple. Which is quite a nice contrast with the um, buff titanium. Of the purple I think I'm mixing, I'm sorry, the um, my acrylic palette is to the left of me. I didn't want to include um, too much in this video because then I wouldn't have been able to zoom in quite so much on the tag it would have been too far away to see properly so I mixed up I think it's some cobalt blue and some magenta if I remember rightly and I added some white to lighten it so it makes a nice soft gentle purple so I'm mixing that up there my palette is to the left of me I see what I mean that's a beautiful color purple isn't it I'm, I'm, I'm all about the purples at the moment this is lovely I'm going to put some on both sides and then I'm going to work the colours in a little bit where they meet. I like doing that because it saves having any hard edges, although much of this will be covered up later with the collage I'm going to put on top. A little bit of blending going on there. These two colours blend quite nicely actually. Quite surprising really because they're almost opposite on the um, spectrum really. And quite often you get a grey or a mud but that's quite pleasant. I think it's because it's got so much white in it. Right I'm going to add some more um, buff titanium in the middle. I'm just cleaning off my brush. I've got a rather dirty water pot. pot. I need to clean that out. <laughs> So I'm going in with some more of the buff titanium. I find it difficult finding somewhere to rest my finger to stop the tab from moving about everywhere. There we go. And I'm blending even more on those edges. Lovely. So yes, it is a bit more of a, a soft brownie grey. That's lovely. I like that. I'm using some of the Amazon packaging paper as my background and um, I'm getting lots of paint on it and then I'll be able to cut it up and use it as collage material. I'll use it in my collage papers, I think. So now I'm using some more, I'm mixing some of the um, purple, I think. Just wiping that brush. My acrylics are a little bit dry in the Stay Wet palette. There we go, I'm going in with some more, a slightly different purple, just to give it a bit of variety, because if you stay with one colour, it appears a little flat. There, now I'll take it away to the hairdryer and give it a quick blast. And now it's dry again, as if by magic. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some stenciling on top, just to break up the colours even more. Here we are. I'm going to just do that little portion with the writing in the middle and we're going to go on with some of the buff titanium onto the purple area to bring those two colours um, together. I'm just using a little sponge, it's actually cut off from a dish sponge. I cut them up and use them. And then what to do is, once the acrylic has dried on the sponge, I trim that little bit off and I can keep using it for ages. I'm just going to do a little bit on this side as well, going in a different direction for variety. And now I'm ready to do the collage. I've got a little bit of, um, this is till roll. If you haven't seen my video on how I make till roll, which is great for this sort of thing, I'll uh, link it down below actually in the description and you can have a look and see how to do it if you've not seen it before. And this is a little bit of paper from one of my Stamperia pads that I cut out and I thought I wanted to use for this. So now I'm thinking about placement. I'm going to tear a little bit off this 
teal roll off the bottom that's better and i'm going to tear it a little bit off the top and now i haven't got any straight lines i've got lots of lovely torn edges it just seemed to fit better that way and now experimenting which way i'm going to have these two going together and it's not that way <laughs> that's more like it there it just needs to go over a little bit more like that that's it so i'm just going to glue that together and then glue that down firmly that's gorgeous I'm just loving these colours. That's it to the left of it. Uh, these are the reason why I chose the colours I did for the background because I knew they would go well with the collage papers I already had in mind to use. And I'm just using glue stick. I have really enjoyed working in this tag book. I'm almost sorry it's finished. I did consider starting another one, but I'm going to have a break and work on some other things for a while. And they're going to put this flower up on the top there, like that. It's actually a flower from a gardening magazine, I do believe. And I've backed it with a bit of stiffer cardboard because I want it to be able to stand out against, you know, against the rest of the tags. So that's glued down. I now I've accidentally covered the hole where I want the ribbon to go, so I need to repunch that. Well, I've got some words to go on as well. And they're going to go this side. It's adapt to, and the other one says progress. And they go nicely there. Quite often I do some sewing, but there's already a bit of sewing on the uh, scrap paper on there, so I don't need to with this one. And now to, I need to repunch the hole for some ribbon to go through. So I'm going to get my hole punch out, my uh, Japanese screw punch. And I need the larger hole for this one. Oops, not gone through. I think I'll just do it again. Oops, swiveling around. That's it, I've gone through now. Perfect. And here's the ribbon I've chosen. It's a lovely purple and it goes really well with this. And it's quite thick. I don't normally have such a thick, but because it's quite a sheer ribbon, it still fits through the hole. I think the fun thing about the tag book has been all the ribbons I've used. Not every page has had ribbon, but many have. And it makes it lush. You'll see in a minute. There. And I just need to trim the ribbon now to size. And I'm not using the best scissors there, not my good scissors, that's for sure. But that doesn't matter. There. There it is finished. And now I'm going to pop it into the little tag book. And you can, I'm going to do a flip through now. Oh, I love it. Just making sure those words are straight. That flower, I think it's a hibiscus, isn't that pretty? Right, moving the paint out of the way. I'm going to move the papers out from behind. So we've got a decent background there. It's a bit clearer. And here's the rest of the book. I'm going to pop it in in the back. It's the good thing about the disc binding system. So you can just pop pieces in and out. It's very easy. And I like the fact that this is the aluminium ones. And they're so pretty against this. So that was the first page I did when I started. And I also did this one at the same time. Those I did do a video for. I think I did a video for this one as well. And now I can't remember if I did one for this. I love the bits on that. I don't think I did a video for this one. That was quite a simple one. That's on some jelly plate printed page background. I did quite a few of those. I love this one. That one I enjoyed doing. And this one as well. Love that stamp. 
Oh, this was a three birds. Don't worry, be happy one. This is a time themed one. <laughs> I had that little tag left over from a time book, so I thought I'd use it there. This is another virus related one. This one I didn't record. I love this in the moment, cup of coffee. And it hasn't got a ribbon, it's got a little bit of paper. This is a very simple one, just some cut out flowers and some words. I love this one. I think I may have shared this one. I'm quite certain I put it on Instagram anyway. So pretty, I love that. And this one, it's one of my favourites. Creativity requires courage. And this one is my favourite, really. I think this one is my favourite of all of them. Visual gratitude. I love that. And this one I did for my prompt on Monday. I did this one earlier on, but I didn't record it. And... This is the one I've just done. <laughs> so here it is all finished. Isn't it lovely? It's quite chunky now. That's as full as it's going to get. I just love the feel of it. And it's been such fun to work in. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.